Hi everyone, it's Robin. I have a mini album, kind of a tag album to share with you today that's a bit different than anything I've tried before. Uh, I It's actually quite small. It measures, I should have measured it before. It's been a while since I put it together. It's four by six. So, um, and I what I did was after I cut the chipboard to, you know, the, the length that I wanted, I used the Tim Holtz uh, on the edge die with the file folder to uh, do the edges and I haven't labeled them yet but I just wanted to share it with you today this is something that this is a project I've just been struggling with <laughs> I couldn't make up my mind about how to decorate the pages I, for one thing it's Webster's pages and I just hate to cover those papers they're just so beautiful so that was a bit of an issue and then just with summer you know we've been so busy with uh, you know family activities that I just haven't sat down to to do anything um, really time consuming in one setting. I've just been working on it five ten minutes at a time, uh, twenty minutes at a time, and then I'll put it aside and, and go do something else. But uh, I pretty much have it done um, for the most part. So I wanted to go ahead and share it with you. I actually this was my first time using jute rope as well. I've never done that before, so it was um, I actually <laughs> learned something. Um, not to bind it until you get all the pages together. So, but oh, a couple weeks back, I wanted to share just the cover on my blog. So I went and I did the binding, but I hadn't finished all the embellishments. So you can see I'm going to have to rebind it because it's really kind of lopsided. Some people like really chunky. I like really chunky too, as long as it's balanced out a little bit, you know, with the spine area. So, or the you know the edge. Anyway, <laughs> enough about that. Uh, I have a swivel clasp and a super adorable blinged out dragonfly charm. I think it's from Michaels. And then a fragment with a bit of paper, you know, a, uh, the design from one of the papers that I cut out and added to there. And a muse token that says journey. And um, I just added, you know, around the edges. You can see I had the pearl trim. And this is one of the edge die, or the birdcage die. And I just I glossy accented the bird behind there. This is a bird from another paper collection, I think, Kane Company. And then I had some flourishes, you know, some swirls. And these are those um, resin or ceramic flowers from Michaels that I've added here. And then one of those wedding section uh, brads. Um, all I did was add the just distress embossing powder and I have no idea what color you guys would know better than me <laughs> um, but um, I just added that on there and then sprayed it with glimmer mist so that's the cover and just some other flowers on here okay on this page again like I said I was really struggling with covering up these gorgeous papers so I added an acetate pocket and then I cut it with my craft knife uh, with this flourish here so um, this is actually, the flourish is attached to the acetate and then I just attached it around the edges here. And then I have plenty of tags in here. Um, it's all Webster's Pages. So I really, this is my first full Webster's Pages album, so I was really <laughs> having a good time, but like I said, struggling with covering up the papers. Uh, this is from um, a different collection than most of this. I think this is the Garden Gala. But uh, I just added a Tattered Angels Butterfly that I uh, inked, glimmer misted, added some gold to, and stickles, and then bent the edges of a bead cap and put a half pearl in the center. This is a Stampin' Up! Sizzix, um, Sizzlet, and I just added stickles to that as well. This page, just some trim, uh, Martha Stewart butterfly punch, and then a flower here. And this was sent to me, um, it was a raw chipboard, and I just painted it with um, regular acrylic paint and added the crackle medium. And I don't know if you can pick it up in the camera. And then added the ivory paint over it. And then one of the metal um, flowers and just some primas. And then just the tags are pretty much all the same. Uh, they're Webster's pages. And then all these were just cut from the scraps um, from the paper. Again, lots of tags here. And this is just a flourish that I added gold dabber to, and I only attached it here and here, so um, you can slide things down in there. And then just the flowers here. And this page, super simple. Just one of the Tattered Angels uh, chip pieces and a flower. Pretty paper. I love it. So, so pretty. 
So that's why I added, you know, a lot of the tags because I wanted to be able to still, you know, have the paper showing. And this is just, uh, I think, close to my heart ribbon. Blessings, family, friends, and then memories. Another chip piece here from Tattered Angels. A couple of tags sitting in there. And this one's super simple for journaling. Just a prima flower and one of the daisies that I got from Donna. Actually today, so <laughs> I went and, you know, used that right away. Cameo and then just some of the trim. And another flower there. This page needed absolutely no help from me. It's <laughs> I love this paper. Um, I'm going to add glossy accents on here, but since it has to sit and dry overnight, I thought I would just go ahead and share it. And then this is just some Webster's Pages trim. Uh, cut out from one of the scraps with my nestability and made a photo frame. And then um, hot glued some of the bead trim and just some flowers. And this was a lot of fun. Um, made a little uh, pennant banner thingy. Uh, over here in Ireland they call it a bunting. I can't remember what we call it in the States though for some reason. Uh, I think a banner, a pennant banner. But anyway I added that and then that's uh, just strung with some linen thread and um, I stapled it with the tiny attacher on the edges there so it would stay put. And then it's all you know loose. You can add something under there. And this is just obviously a photo mat and then a fan flower on here that I've inked and just had a lot of fun with. My fingers are a mess. I'm all just stressed and inked, but I'm not stressed out. I'm having fun. So, <laughs> okay, I have set, it's it's getting kind of late for me. So you have to just excuse my weird humor. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much all that's going on there. And then this just some trim and half pearls and this I didn't do anything with. And then here is the back. So quite a fun mini. Oh, and then the base the um, whole, you know, around all the pages and things, I just added uh, crackle paint, distressed crackle paint. So, but I'm, I'm sure it's not picking it up and everything's glimmer misted and just really fun. So, I finally got it done. I just didn't think I would ever finish this mini album. It's been, well, I started it as soon as we got back from the States. So it's been uh, about a month. Like I said, I've just been working on it a little bit at a time, just struggling through. But uh, I'm glad it's done, and I, ha I did have a lot of fun making it when I wasn't struggling. So anyway, I hope that uh, you've enjoyed seeing it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.